Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I have a product called Bond. The cool thing about Bond is not only that it can control your ceiling fan remote control, but it also allows you to use voice commands with the Google and Alexa system to control it. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. Some things you need to know is that you need to have a remote control that runs off RF. That means that there's not a sensor in the front, it runs off radio frequencies instead of infrared sensors. Now let's go ahead and show you what comes in the box with it. You get a setup guide, and this will show you some of the products that I work with. You get a micro USB cable, a power brick, and you get the bond unit. Go to your Apple or Android app store and go ahead and type in bond app. Once you find it, go ahead and press get. Go ahead and open it up and create an account. Go ahead and plug in your bond unit so you can get it ready to pair so you can start programming it. On the back of the unit, just plug it in like so and then plug the other end to the wall. Now the light is blinking green, go ahead and press add a new one. Press next. Under your Wi-Fi settings, look for bond configuration. It's right there, go ahead and press on it. Now what you want to do is go back to the application so we can start programming all the settings. Now look for your Wi-Fi connection and go ahead and enter your password. Now it's going to take about 3-5 to five minutes to program it. Now that it's finished installing, I can now start programming the ceiling fan device right into the app. Press add device, choose ceiling fan, and then press next. So now I'm going to press buttons on this and the bond's going to capture it into the memory. And at that point, I'll have access on the application and I'll no longer need this controller. The first thing I'm going to do is hit power, hit next, and then press and hold power. Since I found my ceiling fan remote control, it's going to give me some options here. Now I have low, medium, high, so that's going to be three speeds. Let's go and choose three speeds. By the looks of the settings, everything pulled up in the Bonds application. So let's go ahead and hit done so we can start testing it. Everything's testing and up and running. Now I'm going to show you how to connect it to the Alexa app so you can use voice commands to control it. From the Alexa app, go ahead and press on the icon, press the three lines, and then look for skills. Under skills, go ahead and type in bond. Once you click on it, go ahead and enable it. What you're going to do now is just log in with the account that you originally signed up the bond with. The bond home is now successfully linked. Now I'm going to show you how to connect it with a Google's home. Under your Google's home app, Hit the three lines in the corner, press home control, and then hit the plus. Look for bond on this list of applications. There it is right there. Go ahead and log in again with the same credentials that you did on the Alexa unit and with the application. Authorize Google to control it. And here you can assign which room it is. Let's call it living room. With everything connected, Let's go into the other room and do some tests.
So here's my final thoughts about the Bond. It works very well. I used my cell phone in different locations and I was able to control that ceiling fan with no problem. So ideal is to take this unit right here and walk around and see how far you can get from your ceiling fan and that's how you can find the Optimus location. As time goes on, you're going to have other things you can build to control with the Bond unit and that's going to be a great thing as long as it's RF. So if you'd like to learn more about the Bond, I left a link in the description below. And if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.